Hey y'all, welcome back to another video. Today I am doing a spring decor organization as well as kind of a decorate with me for summer. I really didn't do too many decorations for summer. I did a lot of like yellow florals um, just to kind of keep it more neutral and everything. I know like pineapples and stuff are in this summer, but I'm not really feeling it. So I just wanted to stick with like some florals and do some yellows and stuff so that's what I did but as you can see here I have two different bins one of them is a spring bin and one of them is a summer bin uh, the summer bin has like beach stuff and pool stuff and it'll have these decorations in there as well and then the one that's in the chair right here is my spring one I had already put in all of the Easter stuff as well as Valentine's Day and St. Patrick's Day so all of that stuff was in there and I just had to take a couple things out so I could kind of fit everything in there I do have a bin for every season and well for Christmas there's like four or five bins but I try to keep them um, different colors so for Christmas I have the red and green bins and then for fall I think it's like an orange bin and then my spring one as you can see here is the teal color and I actually ended up getting four of these bins because I found them on clearance for like two bucks at Walmart so I couldn't resist on getting two of them but I do write the season or like whatever is in the bin on the side of them with the sharpie and if it ever changes you can always use a magic eraser to take that off but I do like to label the bins so that way um, when they're up in the attic or wherever, you know, I can pull them down and know exactly what season it is for. After I put everything away in my spring box, I went ahead and wiped down the counter because there was little pieces of stuff all over it. And right now I am obsessed with this Method Cucumber All-Purpose Spray. It is the perfect scent for summer and I absolutely love it. I'm using this in a combination of, um the Clementine Method dish soap and I just love it. It is amazing. But I wiped down the counter so that way it's ready for decorating. And then this is the closet where I keep the current bin. So here you can see I've got my summer bin and this is where I keep my mops and stuff too. This has got the summer bin so that way I can like throw stuff in there as I get it. But also in this closet of course is our coats and then we've got games and stuff at the top. And then the two bins at the bottom with the white lids, the top one has um, gift wrap paper as well as gift bags. And then the bottom one has like extra gifts in there. So like if I need a gift for something random, I can go in there and see what I have accumulated um, and pull something out that might work. Finally, it was time to move on to decorating. All of the florals you see here that I got, as well as this little mail thing to hang up on the wall, I got from Hobby Lobby on clearance for 75% off. And then all of this other stuff I got at AC Moore. The C and the Jacks are for Cade and Jax's doors. I thought they were really cute. And then I found this wreath. And then these little books that have paper in them that I'm going to use for gifts for people in my family, probably for Christmas or something. But everything I got at AC Moore was 80% off. And then I also got a large pillow for my couch that says home sweet home like such a steal I got so much good stuff the stuff at Hobby Lobby was 75% off well except for the florals they were 50% off but still that's a pretty good deal and then the stuff at AC Moore was 80% off you can always catch good deals there I love it so I just started cutting apart the florals to put in this little thing I wasn't quite sure where I was gonna put everything but I know that I wanted all of this stuff like in my kitchen just for the pops of um, color of yellow I'd like to keep everything in my living room kind of neutral um, just because I kind of have like a blue and tan color scheme in the living room so I don't try to add too many extra decorations to my living room so the kitchen and the little our little eat-in area is where it's at when it comes to decorating for the different seasons. So I just cut apart the different flowers and put them in. And as you can see, I kind of play with them and pull them out and put them back in until I see that it looks the way I want it to. I finished with that and then I decided to hang up my wreath. I wasn't too sure if I wanted to keep this wreath. I really want a greenery wreath, like one of the ones, I, for, I don't know what they're called, but it's just like a green wreath. 
but I saw this one. I was like, let me go ahead and pick it up. So I left the tag on it just in case, but I put it up on the door in the kitchen. This is our pantry door and it didn't look right. So I turned it around and it looks better, but I left the tag on it just in case I want to take it back. I don't know if I'll keep it or not. And then I moved the flower thing over there and pulled out a candle to add to it. And I thought it looked pretty awesome. Um, but I ended up actually moving that vase of flowers um, to a different part of the kitchen. But then I realized I needed like another vase of flowers. So I pulled out this vase for my cabinet as well as some um, marbles and added the rest of the flowers that I had gotten from Hobby Lobby to it and decided to put it next to my Keurig instead of the little one and I moved the little one to a different place in the kitchen. So I was using scissors to cut these stems and I was having trouble so I went into my little hall closet that I showed you earlier and grabbed the little tool bag that we keep in the house and pulled out these plier things. I don't know what they're for but they worked well to cut these stems. The wire that's inside of them was a pain and that big tall one. So I was able to <laughs> use those to cut it and put this little vase of flowers together as well. And it was kind of bare, so I went into the living room and I grabbed my vase of white fake flowers and pulled some out of it and put it into this vase and then just rearranged the white flowers that were in the living room to make it look a little bit better since it was not as full as it was to begin with. I know I said earlier that I really liked using yellow in the kitchen to decorate for summer, but I want to know what you guys use to decorate for summer. Like what is your go-to to decorate? This is our first year in our house and the first time I've ever really truly decorated for summer. So send your ideas my way. I want to have get some good ideas for next year. And this is what I was talking about earlier. I took that small vase of flowers and moved it over here. And I tried a couple of different ways, <laughs> a couple of different variations, and wasn't really liking what I was seeing. And then finally, I figured out I wanted to put move the owl over so that way it would block the outlet because it just looked tacky with that white outlet with our like metal brassy looking backsplash. <laughs> Um, and then I moved it over and then I pulled out another candle to put over there with everything and I pulled this orange one out because it was like honey clementine or something which is a very summery scent I think but it just did not look right with like the yellows and the white and the cream and then the orange so then I pulled out a white candle that's kind of like a spring scent but I just used it for decoration I'll probably wait and burn it next year during spring um, or who knows, maybe I'll be filling some flowers, but I don't know. But this is how the kitchen turned out. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure you give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more videos like this, let me know. I really enjoy decorating for the different seasons. Like I said, this is the first year in our house. So I really like decorating for the different seasons and showing you guys what I've done. Um, so let me know if you like this kind of video. This is also something else that I added. Um, this little area was kind of bare, so I added this last minute with a candle and some flowers. But yeah, so this is how it turned out. And I really just love it all. I also threw a clip in of my kitchen table with the summery placemats and all of that, and then my fresh flowers that hubby gave to me that I'll just replace with fresh flowers whenever I get them. And then also, here is my little cutie. Oh, he's so stinking cute. Oh my goodness. But yeah, I hope you guys like this video. Subscribe if you are new, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, y'all.